This is the beginning of the changing of the guards. This is something that took place in in 17 in the 1740s. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's changing of the guard. Right now I'm going to have the soldiers load their muskets and post them. This is going to be what would have been called the training drill. It'll be a by the numbers, every position going through an individual step. Same position, same type of drill that they would have gone through learning the drill every day. Now,
we were doing here is replicating what would have been going on then in St. Augustine in 1740 with colonial Spanish soldiers. That's what we are. We represent the St. Augustine garrison. We manned the fort. There was approximately 300 troops assigned here. We try to keep their memory alive. Now, we are wearing colonial uniforms. Yes, it's wool. Yes, it's hot. It's not as bad as you think, though. Wool breathes. We'll sweat through our cotton or linen shirts. Once that gets damp, it's basically as long as there's any kind of a breeze, you'll get an evaporative cooling through the wool. And seeing as they didn't really understand what air conditioning was back then, any kind of a breeze, and we're not as bad as you think it is. Red was for Spanish, black was English, white was French. They wore different colors, and that's how they told them apart. Commanders inspecting the troops. Focus. Now they're loading with paper cartridges. Paper tube. Ball with the fusilero, the Spanish infantry required four teeth to opposing up and down so you could tear the paper cartridge. Now think, they had to make that a requirement. <laughs> now, not having four teeth did not keep you out of His Majesty's service. They just put you on a cannon crew. <laughs>
are muzzle loading muskets, smooth bore, effective range about 65 yards. You ask yourself, why did they all line up like that and shoot at each other? Well, the only way to make a fairly inaccurate weapon accurate was to all shoot at the same time and just throw enough lead down range and hope you hit something. Okay? Now, they did have rifles. Rifles, once you fire them a few times, the fouling builds up. It takes longer to load, gets harder to load. They actually have little starter blocks to beat the ball in. So, smoothbore muskets up until about the time of the Civil War. That's why the casualty rates in the Civil War was so high. It was the first time you had rifled muskets that had much greater range and accuracy. Now, the way they would fight in lines like this would be three to five ranks, blocks of maybe 100 to 250 men, starting maybe 65, 70 yards apart. That's why we only have room in our cartridge boxes for about eight or 10 cartridges, because the first rank's gonna fire. As soon as they start fire, they're gonna start to reload. The next rank is going to advance through them. They will fire. Same thing, they'll start to reload the third rank advances through them. So you can see, after about eight, 10 rank shots, they're all at bayonet point. A number of our slang actually comes from these muskets. Who has heard the term lock, stock, and barrel? A complete musket was the lock, the firing mechanism, the stock, and the barrel, lock, stock, and barrel. I said we would all fire at once. We could get the command, everyone would load, come, come to the shoulder. Whoever was in charge of that line, once they got to that position, would give them the command to start firing. And someone fired early, jumping the gun. Okay? As you saw them prime the priming pan before they loaded the rest of the charge down the musket. If something happens there where the flat pan goes off, it doesn't set off the main charge. Flash in the pan, okay? Looked like something happened, nothing really did. So, lock, stock, and barrel, flash the pan, jumping the gun, also going off half cock. When you load these weapons, you bring the hammer back to the half cock position to load it. Musket spring starts to get leak, weak, they don't hold at the half cock position, and it starts firing forward when you don't want it to. So that's another one, going off half cock. All those sayings come from these muskets. So now, Alvarez, Medias, go. Come on. 